So, let's do something that we haven't seen before in this uh, series. Well, it's how do we save our game? Okay, so, uh, well, Dark Souls kind of makes this easier for us because you don't have to save uh, any mistakes, they all restart. And of course, when you die, you probably go back to the bonfire and so on and so on. So let's assume that we're going to be saving our player's position whenever we end what items we have picked, uh, picked it up. Okay, so before we do any of that, however, we're going to go and create our way and how we are actually going to be saving this uh, this game. So I'm going to write a script called serialization. You probably have seen this before in one of my other series. And let's delete all of this. We don't need much in here. We actually don't even need mono behavior. We just need this to be a static class. We are going to need a few things from system dot input output, then just system, then system runtime dot serialization, and of course, finally system dot runtime dot formatters. Uh, actually, serialization formatters then binary. We're going to save this as a binary file. Now, the first thing that we should do is to basically determine what our location should be. Okay, then we're going to have our application dot data path. We're going to add a prefix. So for me, I'm going to make this as saved in here and then if directory doesn't exist for our save location we're going to create that of course directory that create directory save location and then simply return the save location okay now we need something, we need a class that will actually store what we are saving and what we are doing with this. So we're going to create a new class and I'm going to save this as a save file. For us to be able to serialize this, we need to have the attribute of system.serializable. Of course, we already use system, so we can just write serializable. Okay, and in here, we can only save primitives. That means we cannot really save a vector three. We will have to save it as this. Okay. Of course, we could do something like this, and then we can have a public get position and of course we can also say public void save position okay let's duplicate that when we have position y z and then we have p dot y p dot z okay let's do one thing well actually we could do this as x rename this as y and rename this as z then i'm going to make a new serializable class which is going to be a public class saveable vector three of course okay 
then we're going to have this placed in here I'm going to add this as well in here and then we can basically just say we go we're going to want a constructor for this and the constructor for that is going to be you're going to have to pass a vector okay and then well technically you could do them as private variables now and then you will only be using get position from this so for this one you could do public saveable vector 3 position and Eulers of course that's for the player okay let's see this for now let's set, set up our player and let's only save our position and our exit now when we want to save we're going to create a method that will a static void that will of course save to file and we will already have the save file because we're going to create it from uh, the decision or the game manager or even the controller then we're going to have to create a save location okay then on that save location we're going to have to basically add how our save file we want to be named so let's say save data dot data then here's where the common uh, well the c-sharp stuff is happening we need to create a new binary formatter we need to create a new stream file stream okay we're going to have to pass our save location we need to the file mode we're going to create a file okay then file access we're going to have to write and then file share we don't need any of it so we have our stream then on our formatter we're going to serialize our stream and what object we want to serialize and that will be a save okay after that we can just close the stream we don't need it anymore so that's how you save that's how you create a binary and that's how you get it one thing to note is this for each subsequent play you're going to be doing this will be overwriting your save data which means if you want to have multiple profiles you're going to have to save the name or we're going to have to do something with the name here let's keep this as it is for now because it's not really something we we need at the moment and let's see how we can get back our save file and then we'll fix the rest of the issues we're going to have so public static save file we're going to request that save file okay then we're going to have our result which of course is going to start as null then we're going to need our directory info and that will be from our save location then we want our file info and we get that from getting all the files we have on our directory okay one problem however is that for each file we have inside unity especially any scripts or whatever if we click to show on explorer for example our scripts come with a dot meta file so if i wanted to access this script and the dot meta uh, yeah even if i was going by name there wasn't uh, a case that i could get the second the dot meta file instead of the access instead of the file i actually want 
So, to fix that, we're going to have to determine that what it is inside our info. Okay, so for each file in our file info, we're going to split our name. Okay, we need to pass the uh, split arguments. This needs to be an array. And we're going to split the arrays by the, the dot. Okay. And of course, we're going to remove the empty entries. Now, if our read name dot length equals two, that means we have at least split it once. Okay, and then if string dot equals, because we're doing a comparison with the string, we're going to use the method string instead of using the, you know, instead of using the equal sign of this, because it's faster. And if that is equals as data from the second part of our read name, then we have our save file. Okay, later we're also going to add the profile comparison to this. So after that, we're going to assign the I formatter. We're going to create basically a new binary formatter again. We're going to create a new file stream. And that will be our direction info plus the name of the full name of our file. File mode dot open then save file. Uh, we actually have our save file. Um, you know what? No. Yeah, okay, let's do that directly to the result. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to say on our formatter deserialize the stream. However, this actually doesn't know what type of object it is. It knows it just has to deserialize it. So we have to cast it as our save file, of course. Okay, then result equals save. Uh, actually, we already have a result. We're going to close our stream and then break our for loop. Okay, and of course, right at the end, return our result. So this is how you can save, and this is how you can get back that save. So let's test this. For starters, we're going to go on controller. So yeah, let, let's start with the controller because here's where we have all our info, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go on destroy Void on on disable actually let's see don't think we have it on disable okay let's do on destroy what happens then of course this is just for testing we don't want this to be running on destroy. And we're going to have to create, however, a save file, which we'll, let's make this public because we're going to want to access it from elsewhere. Actually, no, you know what? Okay, let's do get save file. And that will create a new save file. And for now, um, all I'm going to do is new position equals new savable vector three, transform dot position, and for the Eulers, transform dot Euler angles. Okay, and this will return us our save file. So on destroy, you're going to go on serialization, save to file, 
get save file or I'd say get saveable and we can split this into different sections we will see this in a bit or a bit later so okay whenever we destroy we are closing the game so on destroy for the controller yeah you know what I think we can have on quit application maybe not let's do on destroy for now and we'll see so uh, to test this however we're going to try and and see on start do we have start we don't have start let's see yeah we have a need okay so we have a need but because we're using the input manager to update it will make a little bit more sense if we did this here okay so we have start let's see do we have awake we don't okay we'll just do it on start now need before you do anything with the inventory before you do anything with the controller right away we're going to do a check for a save file okay so we're going to have a save file and of course we're going to use from serialization get save file notice that we don't really do anything with our profile so that means uh, yeah so that basically means we only have one save file and if save is not null then we're going to load our options so let's say check save file here we can also do this just on the start to be honest okay so if save is not null then go to my controller for each position and say save dot position get position for Euler angles get uh, get position again but instead of position let's call this get Eulers so let's rename this to get values or well alternatively yeah okay let's keep it like this because I, I don't know if we could if we, if we will run into any problems if we try to do uh, member variables anyway okay so the first time we're going to run the the game won't have any effect it will be just running the game as any other time okay and true enough that's what it happens but let's see let's go on top of that edge over there and close the game okay let's click play and voila as you can see we just saved and reloaded back our uh, game so I think as come as uh, serialization as far as serialization goes this is uh, more than enough okay for the first part so uh, let's finish this part for now and on the next one we're also going to save any items we have picked and uh, the state of there is and maybe we'll fix also the the enemies maybe we'll save the enemy's position and so on so it makes a little bit more sense so you you are not actually dying and you know cheating the game this way so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything of course consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these things we're making i'll see you next time